All right, I've got Mad Max here today. Welcome, Max. Uh, we're going to do another lesson today. Uh, we're going to talk about the swing volley, and this is one of my favorite shots. It's the specialty shot. Max has been with me for a couple years, so he knows the drill. Uh, Max, first of all, tell me what you think the benefits of the swing volley are, how it's helped your game, uh, whether just the specific shot itself or how it's helped your ground strokes. Let's talk a little bit about that. Well, the swing volley's been really useful because if someone's just popped up a high floater ball, especially because I have a pretty big first serve, then they usually have a pretty weak return, then I'm allowed, then I can take time away from them by taking it out of the air instead of letting it bounce. So I really have an offensive advantage with the shot. Now I've coached this guy really well, haven't I? So that's the key: is that if you hit a good serve and the ball is popped in the air, you know it's much more effective to have the confidence to run it in and just torque your forehand instead of coming in and give the little punch that maybe you've been taught before because I don't know about you but I've been in situations where I've run in and I've done that little punch and it's very difficult to put the ball away sometimes so so Max has that right off of a serve off of a big forehand the ball floats in the air you just want to come in and rip that forehand to uh, that swing volley to a nice safe target so what are some of for you Max what are some of the key concepts that you focus on with your swinging volley. And we're going to talk more about the technique, so we'll stay away from the footwork right now. Let's talk about the hands and some of the techniques that you think about running up to that ball. Yeah, well, one of the main things, as with all tennis shots, is the finish, just making sure that you get the racket to where it needs to be at the end of the shot. And then, obviously, just making sure you're relaxed, because that's number one in tennis. Right, so, so in this video, we're not going to talk about uh, the buggy whip finish on the swinging volley. That's going to be maybe for another lesson, because we got to make sure that you guys are learning one tip at a time. And so, uh, Max talked about the finish, and I want to just do a little demonstration for that right now. Basically, what happens on the swinging volley, it's much like a ground stroke, but most likely when you're coming up, you're going to hit it like an approach shot. And when you swing, if you have a Western grip or a strong semi, I should say a semi-Western grip or a strong semi-Western grip like Djokovic, when you turn your hand, that racket is going to turn over like this. And I like to have people catch the racket uh, in the throat like this. And you'll notice that uh, this just gives you a nice reference point. If you look at uh, Djokovic, you know, he's going to swing like this on it and it's going to look something like this. I just have people catch it because I find it helps people relax their hand and, and gives them an end point. So I would recommend working on catching the racket. You'll notice that when you turn the hand, the thumb is on top right here. It's a very important distinction there. It's not, it's not like this because this would be a flatter swing. Okay, so you're going to turn that hand, the thumb is on top, and you'll see my hands and my fingers are, are gripping it. I'm not catching it in my whole hand. So this is going to help you get the ball up and down and we talk about aiming just past the service line because this is a ball where if you're moving up you're going to have a lot of momentum and there's a tendency for that ball to fly or to shoot. So you want to make sure that you aim for the service line. At the same time you want to get under the ball so that you don't hit it in the net. Max made a great point where he said if you're not relaxed sometimes that ball can dump in the net. So you want to make sure you get under the ball, turn that hand and kind of create that arc on your shot. And I think also Max will agree with me that you don't want to try to hit this ball Mach 10. It's a very smooth shot because if you time it right with your footwork, you're going to get plenty of power on this shot. Now, if you have a grip that's more like Federer or if you're more in the continental world, I think you can still, well, I know you can still hit a swinging volley. Let's assume that you're more Eastern. When you come in and you finish, that racket is going to kind of lay flat like this. Guys like Gail Monfils and Roger Federer, you're going to see a finish like this because it's just dependent on the grip. As soon as I move my hand towards a semi or strong semi-western, then my hand's going to turn more. So it's really grip dependent. So it doesn't matter if you have an Eastern and you finish like this, a little bit lower, and you just kind of cover the ball like that or if you've got that strong semi-western and your hand turns. In Max's case, he has a strong semi-western and uh, we have to watch that with him. Sometimes he gets a little too far underneath for my, for my liking, but he still has a massive forehand and a great swinging volley. So he's going to show us how he turns the hand. The other distinction, maybe we can talk a little bit about the preparation on your forehand. What do you think about when you're approaching the ball, maybe with your shoulders or with your hands? Yeah, well, one really important thing for me is making sure I try and face the net and keep my hands out in front here when I go and get the ball because if it drops down here or I'm too sideways then I have a tendency to lose the ball as it's coming towards me and then I, a lot of miss hits occur. Right, so one of the great coaches out there, Oscar Wagner, is all about tracking the ball and finding the ball and there's other coaches that teach this as well. 
but I want to give Oscar some credit here because uh, he helped open my eyes to this, as, as did some other coaches. But, but uh, Max made a great point that he talks about focusing on finding the ball, basically, or stalking the ball with your racket in your hand. Because if you turn sideways, then your head is sideways. You can't really pick up the ball. Your racket's back here or your racket's back here. So you can really track that ball as you're running up to it. Also, you can cover more ground when you're facing the net. If I'm going to run up, if I'm going to run up like this, I'm facing the net. If I turn sideways, I can't run as fast that way. So I'm going to go ahead and toss some balls to Max right now. He's going to show us how it's done. And then uh, we'll see if we can get to the other side, and I'll feed him some balls as well. And you can kind of see how that might look. And then you just need to integrate this into your game. You've got to have the courage to do it. I've got a lot of players where I did two years of swinging volleys, and they still don't do it. It must mean they're either not thinking or they're scared. But once you work on something for two years, you should be coming in and swatting those swinging volleys. I would hope they would do it after a couple of months. So give this shot a try, and uh, we're going to show uh, Max right now getting it done. All right, we're going to do swing volleys. I'm going to toss the ball. I've got a cone down here that Max can run up and run around. He's not completely warmed up, so if he looks a little bit stiff and rigid, don't blame it on him. Blame it on the coach. All right, here we go. I'm going to get my racket in my cart here so I can use my hands. I'm going to toss the ball in the air. Max is going to come up. And we're going to go turning the hand on this one, okay? So no buggy whip. I know you're used to the buggy whip. Good. A little bit softer on that one. He went too hard on that swing volley. He's got to be a little smoother on it. There we go. Did you hear the sound on that one? That's what we want to see. So he's going to just turn that hand. Very peaceful swing. 